now we will start with the main assembly so go to start mechanical design assembly design workbench over here now insert our first component that is piston and master assembly one and we have to make this part as fixed now second component would be piston and articulate rod assembly and we have to insert this component four times We will use manipulation tool to separate these parts from each other. Now in order to start with the assembly, first we have to coincide the axis of this lower rod bushing with corresponding master rod holes over here. So start with the axis coincidence command and make these axis coincide with these axis perform the same operation for each component one by one Now after coinciding the axis we have to provide the contact constant between this part of articulated rod with this particular surface of master rod and repeat the same step for each component. Now if you update the figure you can see articulated rods are in contact with the master rod with proper coincidence. We can use manipulation toolbar to set these articulated rods with the proper angle and separate from each other. Now after this we have to provide the angle constraint as per the figure shown at the start. So go to angle constraint and define the angle between this surface of master rod and articulated rod and we have to define the complementary angle that is 105 degree set the same angle between these two articulated rods that is 105 degree the angle between this articulated rod and master rod would be 70 degree so complementary angle would be 110 degree and angle between these two articulated rods would be 70 degrees so 
corresponding complementary angle would be 110 degree and the last would be between these two articulated rod which will be the same 110 degree so if you update the figure you can see articulated rods are in perfect angular constraint with the master rod now the last part would be to insert link pin so we have to insert four link pins into the assembly workbench now we'll use manipulation tool to set this link pins separate from each other first we need to coincide link pins axis with corresponding holes in master rod repeat same step for each link pin Now after coinciding the axis we have to provide a surface constraint between this portion of the link pin with corresponding master rod surface. Repeat the same step for each link pin. Now if you update the figure, link pings are fitted into the hole. So, so this is the complete assembly of Redel engine as you can see on your screen. So this is it for this particular tutorial and the whole series. Thank you for watching. In case of any query, clarification or doubt, please feel free to comment below. And you can also write to me at abhishek.a32 at the rate of gmail.com. And if you like this tutorial or my other videos, please subscribe me so that I will be encouraged to get more and more videos for you in Kadia V5s. So far, thank you for watching. Stay tuned.